Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got a global header here that we created in another video. It's sticky so that when we scroll up it stays where it is. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to have the header change background color and also the logo change color. So we're going to go from this. Here's a similar thing. Now if when I scroll, you will see the background and the logo change color there. And when we go back up, it goes back to the original. That's a nice little eye catching feature to put on your site. We don't have to do any coding or add any extra plugins to do this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Now for anybody that doesn't know how to create a global header, go to your dashboard, go down to Divi, go to the theme builder. That'll bring you to this page. And here you can add a global header. If you're not sure how, I'll put the link to the original video where I built this down below. Okay, so we've got the visual builder enabled now. And in the latest versions of Divi, you can edit this right here without having to go into the theme builder. So let's hit the edit header template. And what we've got here, we've got a section, the blue tab, which is the sticky part that we've made stick to the top here so that when we scroll, it stays there. I'm going to go in and undo what I've done here to do this and we'll start from scratch. Great. So we're back where we started now. Now, the first thing that I want to happen is for the actual header background to change color when we scroll. So let's go in to our section over to the advanced. This is where we set it to have a sticky position in the scroll effects and it's sticking to the top. Okay, as we've enabled this, we can go to the actual content, go down to our background color, which is now white. If I just undo that. When you get there, it'll be like this. Common to most Divi modules, if you roll over the dark legending, some icons will appear. If there's a little pin like this, it's because you've got the sticky feature enabled. So just hit that and you can hit a desktop when it's not sticky and a sticky basically when you're scrolling and it's sticking to the top. So when we're scrolling and it's sticking to the top, I want to change color. I'm going to put a black in there. There we go. And obviously my menu module up there has got a white background. So we'll change that in a minute. Okay. So we've done our heading background there in the section. Let's go into the module itself now. Green one for the row, dark one for a module. If you stack them like mine and they're kind of overlapping like that and you have trouble getting to them, go down to the little purple button at the bottom, hit the wireframe mode icon, this little one to the left hand side there. And you can see it in wireframe mode and go straight to it that way. And once you're in there, go back to whatever view you were looking at. Okay, well, let's just scroll up again. Great. So here's our menu. I'm going to take that background away. So we're on content. I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to hit the little trash can right here. Great. Well, that logo doesn't stand out very well on that color and nor do, do the links really. I mean, they're okay, but I want to brighten them up. So what I'm going to do is uh, at the moment, if I go over to the advanced, down to scroll effects, this is not sticky. I'm going to make it sticky so that we can change all of our coloring when it is sticky, like it is at the moment. It's where it's not sticky. It's where it is sticky. Okay, so let's do that. And I want to play with that logo and get it to stand out a bit more. So I'm going to go to design, still in the menu module. I'm going to go down to logo. And if I keep scrolling down, We've got some filters down here and you can change the hue, the brightness, contrast. The one I want is invert. And again, I've got mine open. Yours won't be open by default. So if you roll over any of these, the little icons will appear. I'm going to go to my invert. I'm going to hit the little pin again. And for the scroll effect, I'm going to pull this up until it sort of does something that's going to stand out to me. Sort of getting there. 
but if I pop it up all the way that stands out nicely now if you wanted to you could bring out the contrast and things like that again hit the little pin because you only want it to affect it on the sticky well yeah, that stands out pretty well and you can actually play with the hue if you want to and get all kind of different colors click through the little spectrum here that actually is not too bad I quite like that I might leave it just like that okay that's great well that's working now but what I've failed to do there was when I changed the hue I didn't hit the pin so I've done it for the whole thing luckily what we can do is go in there let's just go to the desktop version I'm gonna copy what I've just done so I can remember how it was control C now I'm going to delete it it'll return to the default there we go now hit the pin and look, I can paste that color straight back in there and let's roll and there it is that's great that works nicely for me okay now let's just bring these out a little bit so we can see them a bit more and to do that I'm just going to change the color to a nice white on scroll so we can close up our logo now and here's the menu text active link color well I may as well make that the white as well so again scroll over there's our little pin hit the pin you'll see it disappear on the white background there let's roll up so you can see it as you see that one's changed already and yeah, roll down a little bit more and here's the regular menu text color and we'll do exactly the same thing make sure you're on the pin and there we go save that Let's just check it we should be good to go so let's save our page changes down here exit the visual builder there's our original page now when we start scrolling down it's going to change that dark background with the light logo and the light menu like I say that's a nice little effect to have on your site really easy to do as you can see no coding involved no plugins so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.